Hey everybody, Frank back here with you again, and today we're doing a video on the Lux PM40 from Vaporesso. You have a 40 watt device, one of their pod mods, takes the GTX coils, which the GTX coils are being used in so many of their devices, are easy to find. Take a vape and we'll talk about it. You can see that right there. 18 watts. Great flavor for 18 watts. Battery power for days. Let's go down below. I'll show you everything that comes in the package. And then we'll come back on top and we'll wrap this video up. Hello, everybody. Bye. Gang, this is the Lux PM40 from Vaporesso. The box it comes in. Yeah, uh, we're you know, manufacturing all that. There, not much around the sides. Here's the back. Everything that comes in, you know, packing list for everything that comes in. Let's see if I can get this to focus right. Open her up. We got the normal paperwork and a warranty card, all that good stuff. Uh, nothing new there. All the all the typical stuff you get from Vaporesso. Once again, another nice braided Type C charging cable. You get an extra pod. You get two coils. You get the let's pop these out here. ETX coils that we're used to. I believe this one is the focus. Come on, focus. I can't see. Point, this is a 0. 0.6 mesh coil. It's got a wider opening there. And now this one is the 0. 0.8 mesh coil. A little bit different. I believe this is the 0. 0.8. Double check it. Yep, that's, a, that's the 0. 0.8. And this is the one we're going to use today in this one. Device out here, the star of the show. Take this plastic off. A nice and clean look. You know, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. And this one is we can use one they call the black. Five clicks, turn it on. The normal vapor SO screen. 40 watts. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Come on. Okay. Close the door. All right. All right. You can see, it was a 40, it's a 40 watt device. It does round robin. One, two, three. And you it starts at five round robins up and goes all the way up to 40. This axon chip's good, then it goes back to five watts and all the way back. You see, you see what I mean there? No other modes, it's just straightforward, pretty easy. Very similar to the to the smoke Nord. They're very similar, you know, duckbill style pods. Board's a little different. You 
and this is a 1500 milliamp hour battery in the Nord 2. This one here is 1800. And get it to focus. It says 1800 milliamp hours on the bottom. This little device, they help put a pod in. See, it comes like this without the pod in it. Let's take this 0.8. Pretty simple. Take your coil. I always put a little bit of e-liquid on my coil just to, just to prime it. Just take a little bit of e-liquid. Just a drop or two right there. Take your pod. Doesn't matter how it goes in. Just going to make sure you push it all the way in. There's a flat spot, but with these it doesn't matter because your airflow is going to be on the side. They call this recycling. You can recycle basically your condensation and goes back up through the coil so you, don't, you won't have any leaking. Now to fill it, put it back on. Yeah, there's no magnets, it's all precipitate. Hold it and it's a pain in the butt. It's kind of been a pain in the butt, but for now I put on one camera, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. There we go, take it like that. You have fill port right there. Just put your bottle in, fill her up. Nice and easy. There you go. This is PMTA applied, which is nice. So hopefully your know, vape presser has been excellent with being very proactive with the PMTA. Here you turn it on. It goes right to 18 watts, so it automatically goes into smart mode. One, two, three. You can up it to wherever you want it. Wait a second. Now lock back in. Take the pod out. Put the pod back in. And it goes right back to 18 watts. So I say nice, nice sleek design. Size comparison. They are very similar. You know, get this out of the way. Got height wise. They're real close to the same width. They're pretty close. They're very similar, except in here you get in the battery life I've been getting off of this spinner. 0.84 and you see it already came at nearly a hundred percent and it's been sitting in the box for a little bit very similar to the one I've been using oh yes here's your airflow two here and then there's one over here now I'll take the pod back out and you might be able to see talking about how Flow. You guys go there. I'll close it off. Look back here. Put the pod back on. Oops, see right back 18 watts. All right, let's go back on top. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about it. Alrighty, guys. That is the Vaporesso Lux EM40 pod mod. I say it's been an excellent device. I mean, I use it all week long at you know normally 26 watts with the 0.6 coil, and I've been getting great flavor, battery life for days. I mean, it's not my all day vape device, but I use it quite a bit, and I maybe charge this once a week, once every 10 days. Here's with the 0.6. And here's the 0.8, which comes out to a 0 0.84, 18 watts. I have the airflow closed to one hole, so it's more of a, a tighter, a stricter lung hit. You can still get you know, dense cloud production. 
is it's been working great with higher VGE liquids, 70, 75, and down you can use your Nick salts and you know with a, either a point. Actually, it works for any of the GTX coils. So you can go all the way down to a 0.15, which I don't really recommend since it's only a 40 watt device, but the 0.6 all the way up to the 1.2. I mean, you'll be, you know, it'll read it perfectly. And it, I mean, it works really great. I want to give a shout out to Vapor Esso. Thank you for sending these my way. And the amazing Christmas present, if you didn't see it on my Instagram, he sent me a special edition one. I might make a video for it later. I do need to make a couple other videos for Vaporesso. And I think, you know, one great thing about Vaporesso is the fact that they are very involved when it comes to the pre market tobacco applications. They want to be proactive, they want to be here, and they, you know, they, they're here for the long haul. And they've always been, you know, they've always been very advocacy minded for a Chinese company, which they're one of the few that have been very advocacy minded you know they care about what happens over here they want to stay in business here in the u.s and granted the u.s is a large market but it's not their largest market you know they're, they're a global company and they you know they, they want to be here i keep repeating myself but it's the truth they want to be here they want to be here they care about you they care about keeping products coming to the u.s and they're doing it the right way all right gang Love you all. Happy holidays. You see, I got the tree behind me. Got the Christmas lights going. You guys have a great one. Be good. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.